Many people don't realize they have access to a few different chat GPT models. And because of this, they're missing out on advantages each model offers. OpenAI offers several versions, ChatGPT4, ChatGPT with Canvas, O1 Preview, and O1 Mini, each designed for unique tasks and capabilities. Knowing how and when to use each model can dramatically increase your productivity. Each model serves a specific purpose. ChatGPT4 is currently the default model, and it's perfect for most things. It supports document uploads, voice mode, and live web search. ChatGPT4 with Canvas allows users to edit text within the platform without the need for the AI to regenerate the entire output. It also allows users to shorten or lengthen the output with a click of a button. ChatGPT01 Preview has deep reasoning capabilities, which makes it great for complex tasks. While O1 Preview does not support document uploads, voice mode, or live web search, it does excel at complex problem solving and reasoning tasks. And for quick responses or simple tasks, ChatGPT 01 Mini offers fast, accurate answers. It's a streamlined version of O1 Preview, just optimized for faster responses. Here's a quick demonstration of how and when I use each model. ChatGPT 4 is my default model. I use this model for most tasks. It's fast, it allows me to use web search, voice mode, and gives me the ability to upload documents. I use ChatGPT with Canvas when I need more control over something I'm writing. Here's an example. I asked ChatGPT to help me write a blog post on the importance of AI literacy in schools. Here you can see the result of that conversation. If I were to use the default model of ChatGPT4 and ask it to revise a certain sentence or paragraph, it would rewrite the entire output. But with ChatGPT with Canvas, I'm able to edit sentences, paragraphs, or even just one word without the need to rewrite the entire post. What I also like about ChatGPT with Canvas is that it provides recommendations right in my text. I just need to click on the arrow here and ask it to provide recommended edits. Once I do, ChatGPT will provide me with recommendations on what I should consider changing. Another really nice feature in this model is that I can easily make my text longer or shorter. I can easily change the reading level and I can even add emojis to my document. Be careful with this feature though. For some reason, when I tell it to add emojis, I tend to get way too many for my needs. The last two models I wanna show in this video are O1 Preview and O1 Mini. These models are different from most AI models you may be used to because these models actually pause to think before answering. I know that's crazy to think about, but these models actually do reason before providing a response. And it's this feature that makes O1 Preview and O1 Mini perfect for when you want ChatGPT's help with something more complex. Here's an example of when I will use O1 Preview versus the default ChatGPT4. To do this, I'm using this hypothetical email from a parent expressing a concern about students' technology use. Here's the sample email. I'm reaching out with a question regarding how the district ensures that students are using technology appropriately, both in and out of the classroom. With the increasing presence of devices and online tools in education, I want to understand what measures are in place to teach students about responsible technology use and ensure they stay focused on learning. Specifically, I'm curious about whether the district provides lessons on digital citizenship or online safety, how technology usage is monitored during the school day, what role families can play in supporting these efforts. Now, I could simply put this email into ChatGPT4 and ask it to provide me with a sample response that I would then incorporate into my own email reply. But as you can see, this email is a little bit too general for my liking. Now, if I do the same in O1 Preview, you'll notice that the AI pauses to think about its reply. I can also click the drop down arrow to actually see how the AI is thinking about this task. And because O1 Preview pauses to think before responding, you can see the output is much better. Do I use O1 Preview for every task? No, I think ChatGPT4 is fine for most tasks. But when I need a little more thought put into my work, I tend to use O1 Preview or O1 Mini. Be sure to check out the document link below to see how each model compares and which model you should use for certain tasks. In the end, most people will use the default ChatGPT4 model for most things, but know that you have access to other models that may be better suited for certain tasks. Give them a try and see which model gives you the best results for what you need it to do. There is no right answer, but choosing the right model can help make your use of AI much more effective. I hope this video helps explain the different AI models within ChatGPT. Thanks for watching.